Local families are wondering tonight if their loved ones will make it home safely. President Biden today confirmed 14 Americans have died. At least 20 more are missing. A Springfield mother and daughter who left for a vacation in Israel on Thursday are now stuck and trying to find a flight home. Lauren Schwenker talked to their family about the frantic efforts to bring them back. Lauren? Yeah, Maria, the woman I spoke with says her family is still in Tel Aviv trying anything they can to get out. The apartment that they're staying in does not have any bomb shelters, so they're currently taking cover in the stairwell. They're in a basement stairwell. Laura Thorne is talking about her mother and sister-in-law, who had to take cover early Tuesday morning. She wanted their faces blurred for their own safety. The Springfield family left for Israel Thursday for a birthday vacation, which has now turned into terror and uncertainty. The last message that I got this morning was at 9.37. This was from my mother-in-law. What I know is for the first time, I am seeing fear in the faces of people. Fear for their safety, fear for our safety. Thorne says the two are now anxiously trying to find a way back to America. They've had several flights booked like to other local countries and then trying to get home from America to America from there. They all get canceled. Thorne, a veteran herself, is doing everything she can to get them home safely and even listed their names to Project Dynamo, a veteran-led nonprofit that is on the ground helping locate Americans. They have 500 people there in Tel Aviv that need evacuated out. My family is on that list, so I'm praying that they're able to do that. They said it would take three planes. Here's another text her mother-in-law shared. You can hear them but you don't believe they are that close. You can see the fear in the people's faces. You think things are getting better and then this happens. Just have that sick feeling in my stomach. She says she wants people to know how this is affecting us here. It's not just a conflict in a foreign land. It's a conflict that there are many, many lives being lost. Now, Thorne says that her family booked a flight to Italy to leave Tel Aviv later this week and is praying that it doesn't get canceled and that they find their way home. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Lauren Schwenker, KY3 News.